Hi friends. Today we're going to do three things. The first thing is we're going to do some shared reading. Shared reading is when we get to read the book all together. And we're going to read a book that we read together in the classroom earlier this year called Garden Helpers. Do you remember that book? Well, you get to read it with me today. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to teach you a new spelling pattern that will help you spell some tricky words. It's called floss, just like dental floss. And the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to teach you a new song called Green Grass Grows All Around. And I think this is going to be a fun song for us to sing since we're learning about gardens and plants and maybe even a little bit about trees. So let's get started. Garden Helpers. While we're reading this book, I want you to think about how do animals help or harm a garden. Do you remember this one? I bet you recognize it now that you can see the cover. It's called Garden Helpers by Charlotte Rose. And remember, you can see it, so that means you can read along with me. We're going to start up here. It says, a garden. There are lots of animals in a vegetable garden. Some animals can harm the plants. These animals are pesky pests. What does harm mean? That's right, it means hurt. So some animals can hurt the plants and they're pests. Let's read over here in the brown box. But other animals can help the plants. These animals are garden helpers. Let's think about which animals can harm the plants and which animals can help the plants. Strawberry patch. Beetles poke holes in the berries and leaves. They can harm the strawberries. So beetles. But a mantis can help the strawberries. It grabs a beetle and gobbles it down. Potatoes. White grubs chew on the roots. They can harm the potatoes. Look at the labels on this page. Grubs, excuse me, Abby. <laughs> Abby, we're trying to look at the labels. Grubs, roots, potato, grub, ants. But ants can help the potatoes. They find the grubs and carry them away. So what do the ants do to help? Tomatoes. Let me move my face here so you can see a little better. Caterpillars chew on the stems and leaves. They can harm the tomatoes. There's a label that says, that's right, caterpillars. But wasps can help the tomatoes. They eat the caterpillars for a tasty lunch. And what does this label say up here? Wasp. Peppers. Grasshoppers cut big holes in the leaves. They can harm the peppers. What does that label say? That's right, grasshoppers. But a bluebird can help the peppers. It plucks off grasshoppers one by one. And what does this label say? Bluebird. Lettuce. Move over here. Lettuce. Slugs make holes in the curly leaves. They can harm the lettuce. And the label says slugs. But a toad can help the lettuce. It slurps up the slugs with its sticky tongue. Show me how it slurps up the slugs. Mm. And the label says toad. String beans. A rabbit nibbles on the leaves and pods. It can harm the beans. Rabbit. But a dog can help the beans. It chases the rabbit far, far away. Woof! And I see a label that says dog, but all it's pointing to is my face. I'm not a dog. There we go. Dog. And the dog is chasing the rabbit. So think about some of the different ways that animals can be pests or helpers. 
The mantis is a, is a helper because it eats the beetles, right? The ant helps carry away the grubs. The wasp is a helper, but the caterpillar is a pest. The bird is a helper, but the grasshopper is a pest. The toad is a helper because what does it do to the slug? And the dog is a helper because what does the dog do to the rabbit? That's right, he chases the rabbit away. So that was the book Garden Helpers. If you want to practice reading it again, you can always go back to the beginning of the video and practice reading it all the way through with me. You can even use your fingers to read the words on the screen. So now we're going to talk about a new spelling rule. This spelling rule has a funny name. We call it the floss rule. Do you know what dental floss is? Sometimes we use it to clean in between our teeth. There's a picture of dental floss right there. But the real way that we spell this word is F-L-S-Z. That's too hard to say, so we call it floss. The floss spelling rule, excuse me, there we go. The floss spelling rule is this. When a word ends with the consonants F, L, S, or Z, you double the consonants at the end of the word. So if you hear a word that has one of those sounds at the end, say the sounds with me, f, l, s, z, you can't just write that letter one time at the end of the word. You have to write it two times. Let's look at some examples. This first one is stiff. Let's read it together. Stiff. How many Fs do you see at the end of that word? That's right, there's two. Let's look at this blue one. Try to read it with me. P -ill. Pill. How many L's do you see at the end of that word? That's right, two L's because the L does not want to be alone. It wants to have a friend next to it. The next word is pass. Read it with me. Pass. How many S's do you see at the end? That's right. And the last word is the sound that a bee might make. Read it with me. Buzz, buzz. How many Z's do you see at the end of that word? Two Z's. There aren't a lot of words with a Z at the end of them, but anytime you do see a word with a Z at the end, I'll bet you there's gonna be two Z's because they need to have a friend. So let's practice a little bit now. You don't need to use a pencil for this. You can just practice writing your words in the air. But if you want to go and grab a piece of paper and a pencil, you can practice writing down some words. So the first word we're going to practice is the word puff. How would you write the word puff? Let's listen to the sounds. P -uff. Now think about the ending sound and practice writing it in the air. P -uff. Did you write it like that? Good job. The next word I want you to try writing is doll. Doll. Think about the sounds. D -all. And now write it in the air. D -all. Did you write it like that? Good job. Now let's try the word miss. I miss you. Let's make the sounds. Miss. Now practice writing it in the air. Did you write it like that? Good job. And the last one, let's practice the word jazz. Jazz is a kind of music. Listen to the sounds. Now practice writing it. Did you write it like that? Great job. So today you get to practice this a little bit more in Seesaw. And guess what I found for you? It's a word sort, not a word sort. It's a word search. And I know you all love word searches. So in Seesaw today, you get to search for some of these floss words. The words are down at the bottom and you're gonna use the highlighter tool to highlight the words in the word search. Have fun with that. All right, the last thing that we're gonna do today is learn a new song. This is a super silly song. And 
one of the problems with this song is you might find that it gets stuck in your head. Once you start singing it, you might not be able to stop singing it. So I'm going to teach you the words. We're going to say them all together. And then I'm going to show you a video with the song so that we can sing it together. And then hopefully on Friday, when I see you in our Zoom class, we can sing it all together. This song is called The Green Grass Grows All Around. And it's about a tree and the things that we might find on a tree. Maybe drink some water before we get started. Okay, here we go. It starts like this. There's a tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. And I'm gonna tell you how it sounds when you sing it. It goes like this. There's a tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. Now, every time we're gonna add on a little bit. And on that tree, there was a branch, the strongest little branch that you ever did see. Try saying that or singing it with me like this. And on that tree, there was a branch, the strongest little branch that you ever did see. The branch is this part right here, right? That part of the tree. And now we add on. Branch on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. And on that branch, there was a nest, the cutest little nest that you ever did see. Read that part again with me. And on that branch, there was a nest, the cutest little nest that you ever did see. Now we add on nest on the branch and the branch on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground. The green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. You see how this is working? Next comes and in that nest, there was a bird, the sweetest little bird that you ever did see. Re read or sing that part with me. And in that nest, there was a bird, the sweetest little bird that you ever did see. Adding on bird in the nest and the nest on the branch and the branch on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground. Green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. Now what's gonna be on the bird? And on that bird, there was a flea. You know what a flea is? A flea bites an animal. It makes an itchy bite. Sometimes dogs get fleas or cats can get fleas. I guess birds can get fleas too. The smallest little flea that you ever did see. Let's sing it together. And on that bird, there was a flea, the smallest little flea that you ever did see. Flea on the bird and the bird in the nest and the nest on the branch and the branch on the tree. Sing this part nice and loud. And the tree and the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. And on that flea, there was a grin. What's a grin? Show me your grin. That's right. It's a smile. But listen, the slyest little grin. Do you know what sly is? Sly, sly is like sneaky. It's a sneaky little flea. The slyest little grin that you ever did see. Read that part with me. And this is the last one. So we're going to put it all together. Deep breath. And on that flea, there was a grin. The slyest little grin that you ever did see. Oh, the grin on the flea and the flea on the bird and the bird in the nest and the nest on the branch and the branch on the tree and the tree and the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. Yay. You ready to put it all together? 
Okay, here we go. Let's listen to it. Now this is going to go really fast. So see if you can keep up with it. Green grass grows all around from the award-winning CD, Seasonal Songs in Motion, by The Learning Station. There's a tree in the hole, in the hole in the ground, and the green grass grows all around, all around, green grass grows all around. And on that tree, on that tree there was a branch, was a branch the, strongest the strongest little branch, little branch that you ever did see. Oh, the branch on the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the ground, and the green grass grows all around, all around, the green grass grows all around. And on that branch, on that branch there was a nest, was a nest the, cutest nest, the cutest little nest that you ever did see. Oh, the nest on the branch, and the branch on the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the ground, and the green grass grows all around, all around, green grass grows all around. And in that nest, in that nest there, was a bird, there was a bird, the sweetest little bird, sweetest little bird that you ever did see. Oh, the bird in the nest, and the nest on the branch, and the branch on the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the ground, and the green grass grows all around, all around, the green grass grows all around. And on that bird, on that bird there, was there was a flea, the smallest little flea, the smallest little flea that you ever did see. Oh, the flea on the bird, and the bird in the nest, and the nest on the branch, and the branch on the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the ground, and the green grass grows all around, all around, green grass grows all around. And on that flea, on that flea there was a grin, was a grin the slice of a grin, the slice of a grin that you ever did see. Oh, the grin on the flea, and the flea on the bird, and the bird in the nest, and the nest on the branch, and the branch on the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the ground, and the green grass grows all around, all around, green grass grows all around. And the green grass grows all around, all around, green grass grows all around. Did you get it stuck in your head yet? And the green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. Okay, I can't wait to sing that one with you on Friday. So keep practicing. You can go back and watch the video again if you want, and you can practice the words. We'll try it again a little bit later in the week. Okay, friends, last thing, look down in the comments in the description, and you'll see a new Project Commotion video, and you can check that out. Miss Annie will be there talking with us about winter. And you can also go back and do Coach Ariel's PE video any day this week that you want to do some exercise. Don't forget to do your word search on Seesaw, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.